hi guys welcome back to my channel this is take two and i'm actually mad because i had done this video but when i tried editing um the sound comes after uh i mean my lips move after the sound has come i think because i was using my uh my earpods by mistake also i didn't realize that's how the sound was being recorded anyway welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you very much for stopping back i mean if you are new here welcome i hope you like it and you stay and if you are returning watch your subscriber thank you very much for stopping back bye don't forget to like comment and subscribe today's video is another sit down and it is titled types of fast okay so that's what we'll be doing today let me adjust something sorry okay so we are going to be talking about the different types of fast now a disclaimer these are the types of fast that i am aware of if you have any more that you know of um do comment down below and let me know what it is and uh, how it's done the benefits of it and all of that good stuff so i'm just going to be listing them quite quickly it's not going to be a detailed video i'm just listing them you can do more research if you want uh, but if you want me to do that research for you you're more than welcome to ask and i will take it on okay um these are my notes i wrote it here so we will start sorry my lighting will change because the sun moves and shifts um so we have type of fast number one this is the daniel fast and it is a very common fast and i think most people are aware of this one number one is the daniel fast and it is more common in the beginning of the year when people are wanting are wanting to set the pace of the year and get right spiritually spiritually detox spiritually and all of that um so what happens in the daniel fast is you eat fruits vegetables whole grains and it is usually a 21 day fast um so that's how long it usually lasts so you can have your fruits and your vegetables and your whole grains only fast number two is called the esther fast now this is um on the extreme end of the fasting spectrum you cannot you are avoiding food and water from sunrise to sunset so you are basically just not eating from sunrise excuse me to sunset um, and this usually lasts for three days it is a short fast because of the extremeness of it if that's a word fast number three we have the Elijah fast. Now, this fast, you are avoiding all foods, but you can consume water. So in the Elijah fast, you are avoiding all foods, but you can consume water. It lasts for 40 days, usually. It's a 40-day fast. And it is done when you are seeking emotional healing. Uh, Elijah did it. If you read uh, the Bible, you will see that there's a part where Elijah did this fast where you are seeking emotional healing. So if you're seeking emotional healing, this is the fast for you. Fast number four is the Paul fast. In this fast, you are avoiding foods and drinks, all of it. And in the Paul fast, you are in constant prayer every hour on the hour and it is usually done just like the esther fast for three days because of its extremity because you are avoiding all foods and drinks and you're praying every hour on the hour constantly now this is the fast where you're praying without ceasing literally um <clears throat> lasts for three days number one two three four fast number five some of these fasts are going to sound like diet fasts but for a spiritual person these are not diet fasts these are fasts for your spiritual growth um, um just to shift the spiritual okay okay so fast number one two three four fast number five is the juice fast okay now in the juice fast you can drink fruit juice you can drink vegetable juice and you can also drink broths right um and this fast can go on for 30 days because it is quite sustainable you can sustain yourself with these things um so you are able to drink your fruit juice your vegetable juice and your broth so you can drag it for 30 days and if you want to go longer you can go longer and then we have fast number 
six now this is a dry fast that jonah did i think you can refer to jonah three verse seven to eight the dry fast you are avoiding foods and drinks completely <laughs> it is dry you can go for as long as you want but it is recommended that you do it for three days because it is an extreme fast once again especially if you're somebody with health problems so you can just do it for three days but you can do it for as long as you want um and this is a fast for full surrender or if you are seeking to be closer to god so you can do the the dry fast full surrender wanting to know god's will full surrender giving your all to him um for him to do as he pleases with you <laughs> and then number seven is the water fast in the water fast you are avoiding foods but you can drink water so you're avoiding foods but you can drink water and it is usually recommended that you do this one for maximum three days again because of its extremity but i feel like you can go for longer if you want to because water uh is something that can sustain a human longer than if you're without food first number wait one two three four five six seven first number eight is the intermittent fast which most people use to diet but you can still use it for strengthening your spiritual person so in the intermittent fast you are usually going intervals of eight to nine hours without food you are avoiding food and water for those um intervals uh and you can do this one for as long as you want you can do it for as long as you want because it is quite sustainable since you're just only avoiding food for certain intervals sorry sorry about that something was happening outside um and then moving on to fast number nine one two three four five six seven eight yes fast number nine these are the non it's the non-food fast so what happens in the non-food fast is you're avoiding all nouns that is people things and uh, places um in this type of fast most people will do the um, no social media or just no phone so yes the non-food fast is when you are avoiding people things and places but as I, as I was saying this is the fast where most people are going to avoid social media or just no phone <clears throat> this one is good to discipline your flesh because sometimes we tend to give in a lot into what our flesh wants so it's good when you are trying to discipline your flesh because you should not be ruled by your flesh as a christian um, and then the last type of fast which i believe is number 10 is the group fast now in this fast you're avoiding food and drinks plus things and you will only eat at an agreed time so as a group you will agree on how long to do the fast whether it's from morning until sunset and then you join for prayer at a certain time and then you break the fast and then you eat it can go on for as long as you want because you are eating once um you have prayed and broken for that day so you can probably do it for 21 days or longer depending on the wishes of the group this one is good if you are seeking to pray together over an issue or issues because we do know that when two or more are gathered in prayer you know so it's good for um when you want to achieve something but you need the support of other people or you are praying for a certain issue as a group that you have pinpointed so yes those are the 10 types of fast that i know of if you happen to know of any more don't hesitate to leave a comment down below um and don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that it can be recommended to other people as well your engagement will be highly appreciated and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye